Hi, welcome back to MVM. Today we're giving you a preview of Roll and Write the Dice Game, published by Perplex. It's a 2 to 4 player Roll and Write game where you play Mr. Roll and Write, a game designer obsessed with creating the perfect dice game. You want to pack as much punch in the box as possible and meet the deadline for the Game of the Year awards. You do this in the game by choosing from a pool of dice and coloring matching dots or bits on your player board. You earn points by creating patterns with those bits and filling in your player board or bit box in multiple ways. The player with the most scored bits wins. Now let's go into what you get in the game, remembering that everything that you see here is in prototype form and therefore not indicative of what the published quality will be. Each player gets a player board. And on that player board is a bit box that contains all the dots or the bits that you have to fill in in specific patterns. You will be using these six dice and dry felt pens commonly, meaning that they go into a common pool in the middle of the board for all players to share. The player board also details all the actions you can do in the game and how certain patterns score. And I will be talking about that in detail later on in the video. You will also be shuffling these yellow inspiration cards and dealing one to each player. These cards are kept hidden from other players as they are your own personal goals during the game. You will also be shuffling these pink cards and drawing three and placing them face up on the table. They are the communal goals that players are going to try to achieve in order to score points. For example, some cards award points for the largest cluster of pink bits or most set of all six colors. The green homer cards, blue equipment cards, and purple development cards are all put on the table as a stack of draw decks. These cards indicate the pattern of bits you have to fill in in your player board. They are used and awarded points in different ways. Each player will start with one green hallmark card and one blue equipment card each. Now game turns are pretty easy. Each turn, the active player rolls a six dice and groups them according to color. The maximum number of dice that they can use in a group is three. If there is more than three, the extra dice forms another group. The active player then chooses a group of dice and places them on their player board. These are the colors that they may fill in in that player board using the appropriate colored dry erase pens. Those colors are exclusive to the active player. For example, say I choose true green die, that means I can fill in two bits with the color green because I might be trying to complete a pattern that has two green bits in it. Although other players may not choose from any group from the common dice pool and color in their player box using them. Because they're communal, players may be using the same type of colors. Now, players can fill in fewer spaces than the number of dice in the group they are choosing. For example, if you pick three dice, then you may color in three, two, one, or no bit at all on your player board. After bit filling, players can then do one action and only one action. In order to do so, they have to erase any bit that is already on their game board. Each color you can erase has a special corresponding action that you can perform. The first action you can do is copying and connecting a bit. When you erase any red bit, you can choose any bit in your bit box and place the new bit of the same color next to it. The new bit has to be connected to the previous bit. You'll know they're connected by the small printed vertical, horizontal, and diagonal lines in the bit box. Another action you can do is moving any other bit. When you erase an orange bit, you can choose any bit in the bit box and move that bit anywhere else. With yellow, you can erase that color and change that bit into any other color, which means that the new bit will be in the same space as the yellow bit before. Now, when you erase a green bit, you get to draw three green Hallmark cards. You keep one and discard the rest. If you look at these green Hallmark cards, they will tell you what type they are on the top. This one is compelling artwork. The pattern that you have to complete in order to get the award or VPs are in the middle of the card. So this pattern awards you four victory points. Now let's talk about the blue bits. The blue bits when erased allow you to draw three blue equipment cards. You keep one and discard the rest. The blue cards also have a pattern that you can't complete to get VPs, but they're different from the green Hallmark cards because once completed, they are tucked underneath your player board. They now become special actions you can do without erasing any bits. The last color you can erase is purple, which lets you draw one research and development card. You then have two choices. On some cards, the top are a set of bits. You can choose to place any or all of these bits in your bit box, 
or you can just straight up get the victory points shown at the bottom. Some of these cards just have straight victory points. Now I'll go into detail about completing a green hole mark or blue equipment card. To complete a pattern, your bit box must contain bits of the exact color, spacing, and proximity of the pattern shown on this card. You can rotate the pattern but only in right angles. So if you have this card, you can only rotate it this way, that way, this way, and that way. This means that the pattern can never be moved diagonally. Also, you can never invert a pattern, meaning have a mirror image of it. So that's not allowed. But what is allowed is using bits as part of different patterns. Once you complete these patterns, these cards leave your hand. The green Hallmark cards go next to your player board, and as I said, blue equipment cards tuck under your player board for special actions. Now, there's also another way to get a bonus bit, and that is shown on the development chart on your player board. After completing a vertical, horizontal, or diagonal line of any color, players may claim a bonus bit of any color anytime during their turn and place it on their bit box. The game ends when any player has three or fewer empty spaces in their bit box. Then there's one more turn. Players score according to the inspiration cards they've fulfilled, game hallmark, equipment, and research and development cards they've completed, and if they have no empty space in their bit box, they score an additional six points. Players then look at the awards card, which has unique conditions in order for players to gain the points. There is always a first place and second place for these awards, and you award them accordingly. And that's how you play Roll and Ride the Dice game. Please check out the link to the Kickstarter page below. Please also subscribe to our channel and our various social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And this is Ella for MVM. We'll see you next time.